Hello, everyone. My name is Dion Morales, host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we are coming to you live from the Philadelphia System Open at PAX Unplugged. Today, my co-host is... Peter Fu. And we are super excited to be here. You guys ready to go? Ready to go. We'll start. The, we have a timer for you. All right, players just asking about their time. I've been given permission to run their run the clock if they're ready to go. So. Oh, awesome! Are they on a separate clock? Uh, they can be. Noise. Yeah. <laughs> so once they're ready, and we'll start breaking down these lists. Let them get their first set of dials down. I don't think the poll's up yet, is it? It is. Oh, it is? Okay. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So while they're getting started, uh, some pretty interesting matchups. Uh, Chris Allen against Duncan Howard. You guys ready to go? Ben's up at the undefeated Three, table. Two, uh, and Grasser's against Tim, Til Tim Hilton. All right. So here we go. Um, Let's go ahead and break down these lists. Let's, let's start there. Uh, Corey McNulty on the left, a Chicago area uh, local. He doesn't play at Gold Squadron headquarters, um, but still super cool guy rocking his White Sox hat. Yeah, just I'm due a south a little bit. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, and he's running a scum list. You got Fen Rao, Cavill, Gurry. Uh, Fen has Fearless, Cavill with Dorsal Turret and Veteran Turret Gunner, and Gurry with Outmaneuver and Advanced Proton Torpedoes. What's uh, Andrew running here? Andrew is, I, this is impressive. He's got red line with uh, dance sensors and proton torps, and then the rest of them all, are all straight up academy pilots. Yeah. We're, we're going to war here. <laughs> well, when I saw his list, I was like, oh, that's super cool. I've been messing around with a with six academies and Whisper uh -huh. uh, on stream, so it'd be pretty cool to see how this works out. And the most exciting thing about this game, Peter, is that both these gentlemen are four and one so that oh. means this is oh. an elimination match this is win or go home win or go home one of these players will be starting tomorrow in the cut the other will be playing in the hyperspace trials i love this this is a th this is the classic uh finesse against meat matchup mm -hmm. this is this is a lot of meat on andrew's side Yep, and you can go ahead, uh, vote in the polls here. You got one for Corey, two for Andrew, and just starting out with 30 votes, uh, Andrew is a uh, is a favorite here, uh, according to the crowd, 80% to 20%. Ooh. Four to one. I love it. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a confession, Dion. Yes. I hate new Gurry. What? I hate New Guri because I think Guri should have maintained his or, or her. I'm sorry. It's uh, her. Or it's is probably the appropriate pronoun. I guess I don't know. Continue. <laughs> Guri should have maintained Guri's ability to, to have unlimited foci when at at range one, uh, because. So you're you're you you don't like that it has a calculated action? Is yes. That the problem. Okay. Because I feel like if you're crazy enough to fly in range one with all this this type of meta, then you should be rewarded. Captain Tim. So th they're checking that barrel roll? Mm -hmm. You see, Andrew would have known to do that uh, barrel roll if he would have watched the quick tip video on barrel rolling. Go to go to our YouTube, <laughs> YouTube channel and watch it. <laughs> you know what? I, I actually uh, just ran, because I was searching for force tokens yeah. on, online, and I randomly saw that you are starting to do these, uh, what, what you call them? Webisodes? Uh, Short series? Uh, it, uh, we're calling them. It's X-wing quick tips is the name of the series. I'm am seeing those and they're actually pretty cool. I saw the segment on like how to use the force tokens and yep. you know, they're they're clearly geared towards uh, newer players, but they're super helpful because there's only so much a newer player can do with the with the with the FAQ and the rule book. Yep. And this is this is an illustration of what the rule book says, basically. Well, I, I will tell you that the inspiration for those quick tips are, are league nights. When yep. people come over and ask me questions, that's usually next week's quick tip. Or if I see one in the comment section, uh, I've been asking for them now. Uh, 
and, and I see it's something that comes up quite a bit locally, I'm like, you know what? Let's go ahead and let's put that one next. So I think the listener, the wa the streamer, the watcher, the listener, the viewers, the viewer, the viewer, Bulgar. You said your local club was now like 20% new players. I would definitely direct them towards the, these these short, quick tips because yeah, they're it, super helpful. The the whole series is um, useful X-wing tidbits in five minutes or less. Yeah. So please. Not a shameful plug, it's a proud plug. It's a proud plug. <laughs> oh, by the way, we're trying to get our YouTube channel to 5,000 likes by the end of the weekend. All right. I want to I see if we can get that done. I'll take a peek to see where we're at right now. Let's see. And while our... Ooh. I just noticed. This is a Cavill with the veteran turret gunner. Yeah. Uh, huh. And the Guri has advanced proton torps. Yep, that that Guri punches the pro. See, I actually, I know that it's a little bit of an unconventional build, but you can erase a ship with with those with those advanced proton torpedoes. The problem is that Andrew has seven ships. Yeah, right. So, um, so Dion, I, I'm gonna say some. Uh, so. I don't know if I like Fen and Guri on the same list because I feel like they're competing for the same uh, range one bubble. And uh, that it's not, both those ships get blown up at range two. And it's gonna it's pretty easy to knock yourself out of range one when you're competing for the same space. Uh, but obviously Corey knows something or has been doing something really right for a long time to be at four and one this late in the game. So yeah. I, I'm really eager to see how he, uh, he manages these bubble space issues. Yep. Both players are sitting at 4-1. and one. This is an elimination match. <laughs> yeah, what, one thing I didn't have time to get ready for this stream, I wanted to have some like uh, soundboard-style GIF options uh -huh. to throw up <laughs> on the screen. So... Uh, well, you'll get the NBA Jam tomorrow. Oh yeah, NBA Jam is is my uh, my goal for tomorrow. So Andrew, obviously, uh, he knows how to fly the swarm because he's going to do the threes and then the twos. Because remember, you always have to do at least one space different. Yep. Uh, or one one speed different in order not to crash into yourself. Uh, what I like about his uh, what he's doing here, so he he did the threes and twos. Uh, is Andrew's going to probably start the engagement in this gap right there. Yep. Uh, a, if I were Andrew, I'd actually try to push the fight here. Uh, but I, I have a feeling he's going to bite in on Guri and Fen when they try to leverage those two rocks. All right? Yeah, I think if, if, I'm, if I'm Corey, I want to advance sensors this way and come down. Mm -hmm. But he is going towards the middle. Yeah. He still has space. So he, to, he still has space to get out. Like he still has that lane. It's literally the same one. Um, but you know, actually, you know what? Thinking about Corey, you know, he comes forward. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's choosing to do it now. Okay. So uh, you know what? I have, I say I love when players do this when they put a ship in front of a rock that uh -huh. can barrel roll before with advanced sensors. Uh, these 50-50 decisions where you have this opponent have to decide whether or not Gurry is going to be there or there right yeah. and then and then you're forced to either like try to kind of like 50 50 it you're like you, you split your swarm half on one side half on the other or you bite hard on the on one but the problem is that gory has advanced sensors so she can be at whatever she wants so i don't like the y-wing placement in the middle of the formation i i'd like i would prefer the y-wing to be on one flank or the other because post first engagement, mm -hmm. that Y wing is going to be stuck uh, eating a whole bunch of shots in the next one, the next engagement when it's set up in the middle like this. Yeah. Okay. So. Oh, I just, you know what? I was here assuming that Guri had advanced sensors. Sorry, she does not. It's outmaneuver advanced proton torpedo. So what's going on? So, what I'm a little confused by right now is we're kind of telegraphing where where Redline's going to go right now. 
because it's very clear that these are probably going to do like three straights and then uh, the, the Punisher's at. I don't know. Does it go crazy and take the stress and actually turn, or does it bank? But uh, it's kind of, we're, t we're kind of telegraphing where the, that punish is going. And going against a list with a massive alpha, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little concerned. So Guri has no shot, but that front TIE fighter might be able to plink damage Gur early. That looks like that's in. Yeah, yeah it looks like it's in. And... For the people watching at home, Ian's right there, so <laughs> no, so no worries. All right, here we go. First shot, two blanks. Safe. Why did he roll? <laughs> All right. That was anticlimactic. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> was, those are just pot shots. All righty. So, so um, we're going to go ahead and close down the poll. Andrew is leading 73% to 26%. Let's see how that shakes out. I do want to remind you guys that we are doing a ton of giveaways. Uh, here at the end, we have some exclusive, uh, patron-exclusive, special edition Y-Wing templates that we're giving away. We have some, uh, a bunch of cards, all kinds of stuff. But uh, round six, the end of the day is always where I give out the most stuff. So um, we got patron exclusive raffles and Twitch viewer raffles as well. So thank you for joining us. So Andrew, uh, sorry, um, Dion, there's some commentary in the uh, in the in the in the Twitch chat in the Twitch chat that mm -hmm. talking about the Punisher flanking. But see, the problem with the setup of th these uh, Tie Fighters right now is Andrew is forced in a position where he's going to be banking inwards, no matter where he goes, all right? Uh, which means this Punisher, in order to flank, is going to have to come out of the battle for at least one turn, or more predictably and more likely, he's going to turn in uh, counter to the, <coughs> to the TIE Fighters so they can maybe get off a range three uh, uh, shot. I mean, you can... I, mean, I, don't, I don't think doing a bank maneuver would be a bad idea. No, no. You I, just I, won't be able to be. I think you're, you, you ideally you want to get all seven shooting at the same, yeah. same target. I don't think that's going to happen next turn. So <laughs> these are going to probably these uh, these tie fighters are probably going to do like a two bank in, in two and three respectfully that is, and then warm down. Thank you. And I, I just I don't like putting punishers in a position where they're. Uh, uh, where their movements are predictable, uh, because one of, as one of the viewers uh, pointed out, the moment that Punisher goes down, Guri gets to solo the rest of the list. That's uh, very true. Uh, and Redline does have advanced sensor, so it has <coughs> has some options. Yeah. And I do want to remind you guys: uh, in order to unlock those giveaways, we're going to be doing. We're looking for some Twitch Twitch Prime and Twitch subscribers. Um, we'll do the Patreon ones no matter what, but in order to unlock those Twitch ones, let's go ahead. What's a reasonable goal? Maybe like six or seven? It's round six. Go for six. Yeah. Six more from six where we are six. right now. So I see I we mean, did have a couple a couple already. Oh. Okay. Oh. He's going hard. He's not banking. He's going hard. Well, here's the thing. Like, Corey has to commit to either going hard one or hard one. And if... If, uh, if he goes hard one this way, he's going to have shots at him. There's one out of our six. One out of six. Okay, so he... You know what I mean? Yeah. Because he doesn't have advanced sensors. He can't just... All right. He so, has to make a decision. So Andrew actually is going to hedge his bets here. Yeah. So never... It is still a pretty... That should, so it, that should definitely fit. Uh, that, if, it, if it bumps or nudges a little, that's just because of uh, uh, accidental bumping or whatever. But that yeah. should have definitely fit. So he hedges his bets, and that lead TIE fighter next round is going to probably try to swoop in uh, out of the action and try to catch the Y-Wing from behind. Um, <laughs> the rock rocker. Yeah. All right, we got two out of six. Two out of six. Do you see this? Do you see this, Dion? Oh, we I got see. Brazil. Brazil's in the house.
All right. So, yeah, spreading out those arcs on the TIE Fighters. Um, man, Fen Rao. Yeah. So, Fen Rao Andrew the... continues to uh, hedge his bets, he's, and, it, and he, he's fanning them out, basically. Right. And, you know, keeping them at different speeds, what you're doing is you're, you're changing your range bands. Mm -hmm. And what you're going to see is they're going to conga line around that, uh, this portion of the map. They're going to conga line around that. Uh, I, I like the idea of pinwheeling. I don't like the idea of pinwheeling around the, the asteroid fields where you know your ships are not going to fit. All right, we got plenty of space for Redline in there. I hope he shows me that uh, the bank instead of the white hard. I really do. Come on, Andrew. Oh, no. Redline doesn't move yet. Well, and remember that Redline has uh, a barrel roll linked to a target lock. Mm -hmm. So he could, you know, he could end up doing something like a, you know, like a one bank and then trying to get over if he needs to. Yeah. Or something more sweeping than that. Like a three bank. So, hmm. Oh, Gurry is, is in a shooting gallery here. Gurry, Gurry can tank this. That Gurry is not going to be the problem. It's just, and that's why I'm I, I'm a little uh, worried for Andrew. I don't. Did, what was his action with with Guri? Did Ooh. he hit the rock? No, he didn't. That might be a missed opportunity. Oh. I think he may have forgotten to take an action. No, 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 no. I correct myself. Sorry, sorry. He took a target lock. Oh, he just a didn't lock. show the blue. Got it, got it. Yeah. There's the one bank. See, I don't know if I would have t target locked that. I, I don't know if I would have target locked that uh, Tie Fighter either. And he's reaching, and he has it. So you did take the bank. All right, good. I like the bank a lot more than the hard. All right, so action is focus and then using his ability to get the target lock. So Fen looks like, he, based on Guri's position, Fen looks like he probably did a two bank in. Coming to try to get something. Three, Three bank. bank in. A little faster. Got to guarantee that range one. So I don't, all right. But so if he dialed that in, he knew he was going to split his fire. So he's going to. So Andrew's thinking he can one shot at least a one of the two ties. Two ties. He's trying. He's trying to get two. He's trying to get a little greedy here. So Gurry gets the focus. So I have uh, four dice at that tie fighter, five dice at the other one with Fenral. Here's our first shot. This is Fenral into that top tie fighter. It's a five die. He's got four there. Fearless and spends a focus. He's oh, focus. Four and four. Yeah, he took the lock instead of the focus. Yeah. So just four. And spends a focus. Only takes one on that TIE Fighter. Yeah. <coughs> and it's on the top TIE Fighter. All right, here we go. Oh, do you, hit, do, hit, don't crit, spend crit. that focus. Don't he has, spend he the has a lock. lock. He has a lock. Don't spend the focus. Oh. Don't do it. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Cor. Hit, crit, crit. This could do it. But, the, 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 nope. I mean, it doesn't matter because the TIE Fighter d died <coughs> because it's shooting. Excuse me. So, two crits going in. He needs that direct. First one is... Weapons, Weapons failure. failure. Console fire. So weapons failure is minus one attack die. 
console fire is before you engage, roll a hit, uh, roll a die, and on a hit, take a damage. Now that will trigger this turn. Mm -hmm. So the Y wing's going to be shooting at the y, uh, the tie that has no. All right, hit crit, no focus guy. So he needs to blank out and get a direct hit in order to make this real. No blank out, but the crit does go through. Damaged. It's gone. Yeah. The target lock shouldn't be there anymore. Uh, is it just, oh, sorry. Is so it someone wrote, engine? Yeah, so someone wrote that they were confused about why the Y-Wing didn't shoot the ammunition. The target lock wasn't the Y-Wings. It was Fens, yep. and it was spent anyway. So I'm pretty sure that Top TIE Fighter took a, uh, a damage engine. So increase the difficulty of your hard turns there on the uh, on that tie fighter at the top. So, oh, red, red line sp spends the uh, target lock. Yep. That is four hits, and one's going to be a crit because of the ability yep. of the proton torpedo. Exactly. Hit crit crit. Don't spend it. No. Okay. All right. So ends up taking one shield on Guri. Make sure not to take that crit. Why take it if you don't have to? So with four ties shooting at him, he'll likely suffer one more crit. Oh wow! They did. They forgot about up maneuver too. Yeah. Real too many. Too many dice. That out maneuver is actually huge. Yep. That should, oh. Range two on Fen. Fen hates being in this position, and he's got nothing. Two dice. Natties. Got it, natties, baby. Yeah, he's still. The, they're gonna do the uh, council fire next. You know what, Dion? I gotta call that out. Andrew was super sportsmanlike there, and not that. Yeah, so I, I, you guys can't hear the table. We can. Uh, that was awesome. Yeah, Andrew uh, calls his own council fire. Corey's like, "Oh, you don't. That guy doesn't shoot." He's like, "Well, you, you still engage, so you still gotta do it." So. Super solid there on Andrew. And way to be honest, Andrew. That's the exact kind of conduct that we're looking for in these top uh, tier players. And mm -hmm. that's why they're b the best players here. Yep. That's why they're 4 and one because they don't need shenanigans to, to win the game. Yeah, you just, just play. Measuring range there. It's going to be range two from Guri to that center TIE fighter. That is a blank out. We're getting trolled a little bit in the Twitch chat. Tony Ruback asking, uh, can you get us some Nim Miranda on stream? <laughs> You're cute. <laughs> All right, here's Andrew, next TIE Fighter. Two hits. Two so eights. I think Andrew might be part of the uh, PTL crew from Canada because he's he said he's from Ontario. Yep. And I Toronto is in on Ontario, I think. I'm not sure, though. We, we'll probably have to confirm later, but... PTL's got a good core group of players. Uh, I think a lot of guys here today. Did they take up another bus down? Just, I mean, the, I don't know if it was a bus, but it was a, at least there's a, like four or five of them here. All right. So, you know, honestly, that exchange for, on, for Corey was not bad. You took most, most of, uh, of two TIE Fighters. And you uh, you didn't lose any ship. You lost one shield. Mm -hmm. Like, I'll take that every day. I'm I'm a little surprised Andrew didn't go for the range three from this Tie Fighter onto Guri. I, I get why he went to the range two, 
uh, on Fenn, but I, I, I would have preferred having all, all, all of his shots go in there. Yeah, so right now, you know, if, if you kind of look at dice and you go like, all right, who, advantage meter. Right now, advantage meter is, is dipping towards Corey, which, by the way, I am working on making an advantage meter for for the stream. It's coming. I love it. <clears throat> and we also need the World Series of Poker, like, dial cams. <laughs> you know, th there's a story behind that. I, I have – I don't even want to talk about it because then people want it, but I can't carry it. It's too big. Nope. <laughs> We, I was just talking about how much stuff there is here and on top of the swag. And then, you know, your clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, you, uh, Peter, when I pack this stuff, it's uh, I pack the streaming stuff first and I stick my clothes in between the things. <laughs> because like, I usually fly Southwest because it's the cheapest because I want to make sure I stretch my patrons' money. Right? <laughs> and I can, get, I can get two bags inside the plane and carry two as carry-ons. So, this is heavy stuff, Dion. Yeah, but uh, so yeah, it's like really heavy. <coughs> you can but I did a proof your so like, like your yeah, weights here getting like. ripped. <laughs> um, but you asked about dial cam. I actually did a proof of concept um, in my workshop, uh -huh. and I figured out how to do it. The problem is that it's not; it's impossible to travel with. It's impossible to travel with, and um, I'm debating making like a table where it has it. My seventy <laughs> shift, <laughs> but well, like I, it would be at my house, right? Okay. Or or in uh, in a in a in a in a fixed place, uh -huh. like at our game store, or something like that. The problem is that, like, if I have streamed games and recorded games that have dial cams, they're gonna want dial cams all the time, mm. and I can't I can't do that. Like it's it's a uh, well, we could do it. No, <sighs> you know how we do it? How do we do it? We get more people, like our viewers right now, <laughs> to re up on Patreon and sign up on <laughs> Twitch or Amazon Prime uh, for, for the Twitch credit. All right, so this Y-Wing is going to come nuke something. Mm. And I, I can't tell if it's going to nuke a, 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 the tie or if it's just going to go in, try to go in hard for the, the, the Punisher. Because I, I, if, the, if Guri can get behind it, if, once Redline's gone, he did, he, either Guri or Fen could, could run, could uh, run the gamut, run the what? Run the gamut? Yeah. Run the something on the rest of the ties. Oh, Interesting. Some people were like, ah, oh, dial cams would be cool. Other people were like, ah, I don't like it. I, I will say, like, the, the part that it would kill would be the suspense. You know what they would be good for? For, like, uh, a video where players are, like, talking about their game. Uh-huh. And then you can, remember, like, talk about, like, oh, you see, I was thinking about this there. Anyway, that's, that's, for, that's for future. Or, you know, what we could do is have the dial cam on the table. All right, here we go. But not tell the... Uh, viewers about it and then we look super smart oh just for us <laughs> yeah i mean that's that's true strong that's good for i mean you're not wrong <laughs> once again andrew being honest with uh, his crits what did you oh. what did you do i don't, I don't know. his action was to flip it flip what what was it i don't know just guess uh chubraka you gave more than enough Already, Chubraka Chubra is, is my sugar daddy. I love me Chubraka. One of our listeners said that the console fire flipped. Console and I fire. think that sounds right because otherwise we'd be rolling some die. Oh, that is unanticipated. To say the least. <laughs> take, 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 out, take me out of Y-Wing. Well, if I can have actions, you know. Well, yeah, but if he's going to – this – this that tie may have just taken the uh, – sorry. Excuse me. The Y-Wing out of out of commission for – at least for what the Y-Wing wanted to yeah, do. Yeah, especially if that Y-Wing does a one bank, which seems like, like the logical move. Mm -hmm. These lists are four and ones.
Did you? Ah, Scooter. Scoot ZP. That's four out of six. We need two more Twitch Prime subscriptions to get to our our goal of six. For the, the to, loot, to, right? To unlock unlock the loot for the for the Twitch. Oh subs. wait, we forgot to tell him. You have to unlock the loot this round because we have the holographic. The holographic uh, Vader. Yeah, the holographic Vader is eligible this round. Do you want water? I mean, I have I have a couple. You got one? Okay. I've been like rationing my water here. Holographic Vader is eligible this round if we can get to that four of six. Mm -hmm. So maybe you should create random. Four. People should just start creating double <laughs> Twitch. Call your grandma. Oh, Torox666. Call your grandma. Say, Grandma, go to Amazon. Connect your, your Amazon account to a Twitch account. Click the button. <laughs> so we can get these giveaways. This is a full boom. We did it. Six out of six. Full bleed, full foil, Vader. Well, full foil, not full bleed. Yeah, something like that. Three quarter bleed. <laughs> it's, a full, it's a full song. <laughs> Alrighty. Chewbacca did it again. Did he really do it? Chewbacca, you were ridiculous. You're ridiculous. Let's send him more stuff. Oh my god. Let's just send him things. Oh, I want to kiss your face. <laughs> All righty. <laughs> oh, Dio. Look how nice these tokens look. Oh, that, right? Are you seeing you this? see everything. All right, so we got a hard two here from Guri. That might just make it. I would mark that TIE Fighter out of the way. Yeah, they should really. Yeah, okay, good. They're doing it. Mm. We have listeners saying that we should just give the foil to Chibraka. Mm. I don't I, know. I got, I got some cool stuff for him. No, no, no worries. I already set the social contract of of raffling <laughs> of uh, of giving away the Vader, so can't break that. Hmm. Uh, is it going to make it? Dion, I... This is why I really don't like splitting up swarms like this. I know it's... I know keeping swarms in formation is super one-dimensional, but when you split them up without taking out a ship from the other side, it, you're it setting fit. yourself in trouble. That fit. And with, with good room in there, that, that you can see the... Oops. <laughs> of course, I draw the line right on it. You can see the clearance in there. Yeah, I just... I hate splitting up swarms this early in the game. Especially with all his ships on the board. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't read that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll leave. We'll have switch chat. That, yeah. That's a special moment for them. Yeah. They'll only that's, ever that's know if they, were, if they were live. All right, so we're getting a advanced sensors. This is a dangerous move for Corey because if 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 Redline just stopped, advanced sensors lock move. Even though he's not in proton torpedo range, he's still going to take a range one on the side. But oh. I get it. He's trying to go for the block there. Oh. Oh. You guys are ridiculous. So the Y-Wing does bump on that lead TIE Fighter. So the gamble kind of pays off. Yeah, we're probably going to get... So Fen... Fen has a focus. No, he does not. That belongs to that Y-Wing over there. Yeah. So we're probably going to go and focus fire onto this one. Because you got... Cavill can shoot both the dorsal well, and, and his primary that with the veteran turret gunner. Andrew's trying to figure out if he actually wants the advanced sensor right now. Yeah. And that makes me think that maybe he's... He's probably moved then. He has to have yeah. a, a, a movement. <clears throat> I see him reaching for the barrel roll. <laughs> you guys are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
All righty. So that's advanced sensors lock. Oh, sorry, advanced sensors focus takes the lock. Be bumping into Guri and have a proton torpedo shot into Fen. Train tracking. Choo choo. I don't know. Was Andrew the four to one favorite here? Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Corey's got some. Goofy list magic going on right now. Fen is gonna be blocked. Uh, I I I I want them to take that ship out for the I, angle. Well, I think if you put it flush against, well, all right, they already got one for it. That's fine. I saw something very similar and very close in another match, in that if you put the thing flush, I think the fen may have cleared. Maybe a little bit extra distance. Because when you, when you raise it, you are yeah. slightly shortening the template. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, fen Rao. He is range one. So, Is he? I think he might be range two. He is? Oh, he got the focus. There's a focus no, for Gary. No, he the focus. Okay. It's on the Fenral. Fenral is range, uh, range two. Here we go. Just one in the red line. Does not spend the foci. And safe. Gary into the academy in the back. Outmaneuver should be in play. Oh. Just two. Sounds like two dice. Yeah. <laughs> oh, takes two. Hit crit. And the crit is loose, loose stabilizer. stabilizer. So loose stabilizer, for those who don't know, is if you execute a non-straight maneuver, you will take a damage. The y -wing. y wing into that top TIE fighter. Two hits. No action, though. That. Taking two. Ooh. But Andrew is juggling that damage pretty good right now. Yeah, see, the, the problem here, like, w while Andrew's taking on a lot of damage, it's very spread out. Yeah, he's, <coughs> he's juggling. And now it's... Uh, Andrew's turn to deal some damage. Here's that proton torpedo. I'm gonna spend the focus, change one to a crit. That's in the Fen Rao. <laughs> Natties, baby. We still, he's still gonna be taking a crit. Yeah, but still come gonna on. be taking a crit. Does everyone on your stream go crazy? Structural with, damage with the evades. This is nuts. I forgot to tell them to actually place the crits in the box. I'm, I'm really glad they're using the big deck so we can, we yeah. can see when they just kind of flash it there. So again, structural damage, reducing that agility by one. Where did Dion get those awesome crit identifiers? I made them myself. Hit crit. Man of many talents. Oh. Ooh. Takes in two there. That's shields down on the Y wing. <laughs> All right, one hit. Takes another one. All right. First blood on Cavill there.
<laughs> All righty. One hit. And evade. Got it. So speaking of the tokens, yeah. we need everyone to go visit Curled Paw down here at the bottom. Yeah, so uh, today's game, and all, all of our games this weekend are sp sponsored by Curl Paw Creative. You can go to curlpawcreatives.com and use coupon code UNPLUGGED2018 to get 15% off of their entire shop. So, and you don't have to spend it on just X-Wing stuff. No, they got all kinds of things there. I know he sells Destiny tokens as well, but the best, I think the best product he has is the L5R line. Uh, the Fate tokens, just all across the board. Uh, definitely visit and support Andrew Knuckles because he's a great guy, he's got a great shop. And uh, uh, I think two years ago, he quit his normal job and went all in on, on, on building this Curled Paw Creatives uh, business. And. Uh, Guy's been successful and couldn't be happier for a nicer person. So while we're dialing these th uh, dials in right now, um, I think we need to see some aggression from these TIE fighters here. I think yep. I need to see a 4K. I think I need to see a 4K. And I, I think I need to see another K turn right there. I think I need to see three K turns. Uh, or else this TIE Swarm is going to be in a lot of trouble. Because this TIE Fighter is parked right in front of a rock. Yeah. So it's, it's going to have to hard one. Yeah. It's either going to come in to try to block the, to blunk, bump the Y. But that means it's eating a whole hell of a lot of firepower from Guri. Yep. It's, it's, it's just going to be one of those one of those turns where Andrew has to just make a decision on how he wants to uh, how he wants to continue. Because I mean, you you do have you have a, a pseudo a pseudo formation between these three ships right now. They're yeah. all facing the same way. You can use the different speeds of the Tie Fighter K turn to get them in a in a in a kind of a block. You do the three uh, three K there, and you get the five K on the on these two back ones, and you'll end up. Uh, about lined up. You got two in the back line and one in the front. Yeah, I need I need K turns there, uh, and if he doesn't K turn, I'm a little worried about his setup for the next couple rounds. Um, because what 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 Corey has done is he's put Red Line in a position where if he chases the bait, Guri, and you have to remember, Guri is always a bait ship. All right. Guri is never going to be your primary. Guri, Guri challenges you to kill her, and you rarely do. Um, if Redline chases Guri, then the Y-Wing and Fen are going to make the Punisher super unhappy. Isaac Carr is 99% sure Andrew is not PTL. Well, he at least traveled with the PTL. He's, in the, he's traveling with them today, at the very least. Does this yellow look better? I guess people are asking, saying that the red is hard to, it's hard to read. Is this better? The yellow? Does that pop them a little more, Peter? Uh, I guess. The yellow mark? I mean, whatever the people want. And one thing I want to say... Uh, Somebody pointed out in the chat, Andrew is playing at a great pace. He had all, all seven of his of his dials down before Corey did. <laughs> it's very efficient. We've gotten a lot of turns in. Yeah, Andrew, Andrew's got like this or organized chaos approach going. I just, I, 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 I want to see the end of the story because I'm very intrigued by this style of swarm. <laughs> to do, don't you mean gold? Yeah, sorry. We're using we're using the gold marker now. All right, so first one there, and that, there it is. There's a K turn. And 
Now we see the three. Hopefully. I think you do that. You do the long K turn here as well. Oh no. Okay. Interesting. He wants to block up that that Y wing again hmm. in order to catch it. You catch it in this uh, this K turn arc. You be able to catch it in the front, and then this one back here. You get two ships on one there, at least. So people are reporting that Duncan Howard lost his last game. So Duncan played Chris, so I guess Chris advances. Yep. And there's a K-turn from uh, that other TIE fighter there. So not K-turning this Y-wing uh, creates some interesting options next turn. Uh, I still think I would have gone for the K-turn, though, for the simple fact that Fen is going to be a lot more worried about three Y wings on his tail than just two. People are asking for a, a podcaster calendar. You can maybe do something like that. <laughs> I'll, re I'll, re I'll reach out, but not like a sexy calendar, like a normal calendar. We can figure something out. Here's the debate, though. There's there's way more than 12 podcasts. And then once once you decide the 12, I guess we'll get like an 18-month calendar. Just have all the podcasters wear shirts of other people's fa other podcaster faces on. <laughs> <laughs> then you'll get all the podcasters in one go. <laughs> oh, you're getting sexy from OCXTO. I will, ha I will have liberal use. Of the sensor bar, Mr. Stews. <laughs> Hard one from this TIE fighter right here. It's flipping down. Uh, another crit on the fourth from the top. The weapons failure. And that uh, Academy pilot. Hard one there from Guri. Guri continuing uh, this this trek to to bait, bump, whatever the red line, which is effective. It's been very effective. Yeah, synchro. That's that's exactly my idea there. Do a charity. Maybe we can hook up with somebody. Got some ideas rolling. Okay. Y-Wing coming in. So the Y-Wing can take an action now. I hope the action is focused, not target lock. Let's, let's do some double tapping. Come on. Takes a target lock? Ugh. Well, I mean, what, what, why, why, why focus not a target lock? Uh, he's that veteran gunner, right? Yeah. So he's going to get the double tap? Yep. He might as well miss the first shot to absorb whatever tokens Redline's going to use and then use it for the focus on the next shot. I mean, you don't have to use the target lock on the first shot. No, you're right. Redline does. Uh, Jedi uh, Oswald, I will be streaming the Denver system open. Yeah, Redline does the advanced sensor target lock, so we're going to... We're going to all try to light up the Y-Wing again. And red line bumps into Guri. Did Guri bump that tie? Yeah, I think it's on purpose. I mean, I'm not sure if it's 100% on purpose, but it, it works out because he doesn't have a red line uh, having a shot on Guri, which mm. is great for, uh, for Corey. Range two. So looks like that would have been a 4K, and he just 
takes the stress because it doesn't fit. Mm -hmm. And to tell you guys, the Gold Squadron podcast will be at every United States system open uh, this season and at least one in the uh, <laughs> at least uh, the, the one in Australia is we're going to be trying to do that. Not guaranteed yet. So we're marking this ship out the way. For the fan. Yep, checking for Grand's range. range 1. He does, yeah, he has it. He has two bases in between. Range one is two and a half small base lengths, but with the funky angles, that's uh, that's why you gotta you gotta double check that. The rocker crocker. Even what if they announce more system opens? Yeah, I'm still in. Fen has no shot of one, one shotting this. Hit crit. Tin can gaming network. Thank you so much. Two hits and a crit. Hit it crit into. Red line gets an evade. It's going to be taking a couple shields there. No ships have died yet in this game. Yeah, Andrew's doing a wonderful job juggling damage. I, you know what, Dion? I'm super surprised at what the how this game is going. Yep. In in a very good way. I'm very pleasantly surprised. Yeah, both how players are still in it. Only one. This was uh, from Oh, we get a blank out. Double tapping. Tar spends the target lock. See, knew he should have taken no, oh, he doesn't spend the target lock. A hit crit. Coming from Corey. Those are going through. He's going to be taking a crit. Yep. Keep, keep your eye on that. Thank you, Boga Tiger. Oh, no. I didn't, didn't see what it was. Panic pilot. Panic pilot Ooh. means you take two That's too stress. stress. That is bad one for uh Oh for Redline's sure. Red Redline is Redline's in a lot of trouble right now. Yeah, double That's stress. no advanced sensor, so we know definitely where Redline's going now. All right. Andrew rocking up those dice. Natty's. Three hits. Duncan save him. Oh. Throwing dice across the room. Oh, wow. Corey's, Corey's feeling it. Oh, nice. I missed a crit. Could you go check what the crit is on, on Fen? Mm -hmm. I think that that's half points on Fen. I just don't know what the crit is. Having somebody double check that. Oh, somebody. Peter. You know Peter. Uh, he should have rolled one less die on the defense. George. 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 Yeah.
Canceled the call. <laughs> All right, we're back. Fang normally gets four because of his ability. Those darn abilities. No, we're, we're good. We're good. Sorry. I made a mistake. We're good. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I needed to, you know what I needed to bring with me? My walkie-talkie set. Yeah. <laughs> like, it would make, it make this much easier. I'm going to bring it for the next one. I don't yeah. know. Uh, for Phoenix. Okay. Okay. <laughs> So that's half points on Finn. No, I messed up. I messed up. My bad. No, it's good to be vigilant. Better safe than sorry. Yep. <laughs> I can't believe they're tied. This so. is, this is, you know, I had some doubts about Andrew uh, Dion, but I am, man, this is, this is good. Fenn is one hall left. So that's the time on that. Okay. That's, that's, when they, that's when they started. I'll keep them updated if you want me to. Tell them when to stop. Fenn is at one hall. Fenn's at one. Okay, 18 minutes left in the round. And let me remind you that uh, we are going to be doing some giveaways. We unlocked the giveaways for Twitch. We got some Patreon exclusive ones, both for new patrons and for existing patrons. That's the word I was looking for earlier, existing, past and existing patrons. All the way from our very first patron. Do you know I st our very first patron is still a patron? His name's Curtis. Curtis, and hope he, you're watching. He became a patron before I even announced Patreon. Like I had, I had, I created the account and I wasn't ready to announce it yet. And he was like, "Bam!" He found you. He found it. He was seeking that out. That's crazy. I can't believe these fellows have been playing since eleven this morning. I, I'm There's exhausted. so many shifts on the table. I'm exhausted just from watching one round. Yep. So uh, score right now is tied 36 to 36. Mm -hmm. Dion, are we gonna? What what kind of other giveaways do we're we, we going through this round? Uh, we we so talked about the foil. So Vader we got the foil, foil Vader. We're gonna be giving away uh, a couple of sets of the Liberty Squadron IG88s. Oh. We're gonna be giving away a couple of the. Uh, so these are the uh, IG88s. The East, East Coast gamers. We're, yeah. We have. Um, those templates for patrons. Mm -hmm. We're going to do a couple of these sets for the IG88s just for patrons to make sure they get some. Guarantee that some patrons get some. Yeah, so these IG88s are the ones that are modeled off of the 1940s pinups. They're pretty, they're pretty creative. And Oh, I know. Speaking of cards. Yeah. I know Bartok did your art. Yeah. Bartok, speaking of Polish people, Bar Bartok's from Poland, right? Yeah. He does such a wonderful job. He actually did the card I commissioned, which was the Inquisitor shooting a crate dragon with a missile. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's when we all thought cruise missiles were going to be the, the saviors of the game. Thank you, Trip AU. All right, here we go. Let's start moving some of these ships. All right, hard one from that. It's trying to get that fen. Uh, if I'm Corey, I'm trying to get that fen out as quick as possible. Let's see what he does. Somebody asking, how do the giveaways work? We'll talk about that a little bit after this, uh, this round. We'll wait for planning before we do that, basically. 
if you're watching, you're eligible to win some of the raffles. Or if you're a patron, you're eligible to win raffles. Excuse me, not raffles, giveaways. I'll explain here in a minute. Super easy. All right, 4K here from... Long time lurker from Down Under. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm glad I'm glad to have you here, my Dion, friend. I don't know what it is, but I I Hard love the hear. Aussie humor, just across the board. I you, I think I think not not only are the like the most of the guys from Australia funny, but it's also like their dialect, right? Like they they just use different phrases than we do. So what is probably just like a a common like Word. on the sillier yeah. side saying for us sounds extra hilarious because like. Uh, we we don't we don't phrase it that way. That's <laughs> that's absolutely hilarious. Oop. Just someone got put a little too close to that dice box there. I'll try to try to edit that out really quickly for you guys. Still gonna have a little bit of it though. Andy, and that's why the, I wanted to 4K everything before, uh, because, well, never mind. I take that back, because even if he kills Fen, it, he, they're all going to be out of position if he had 4K'd all of them. Yeah. So I take it back. Being a dice box is very stressful. <laughs> yes, it is. Alright, just uh looks like a three forward there. Now that three forward allows Andrew to swing around to come after Cavill after killing Fen. He flipped the loose stabilizer there. Gurry hard twoing out of the way. Uh, that's an interesting move. Uh, maybe Guri is trying to get behind red line. Yeah. So here's the problem with. You know what though? With this boost, he's gonna he's gonna be able to get out some out, out of some of those arcs and and get into uh, get to into this tie fighter. Be able to get it. So the problem <laughs> is, uh, Andrew's not going to be shooting at the. Wasn't going to be shooting at the Guri in any instance. Andrew was going to be aiming at Fen Rao. My fear is with only 12 minutes left, uh, Corey's going to get out outpointed by Andrew if this Fen goes down. Okay, so deciding to barrel roll to the right. Yeah. So, so, it, to, so it is trying to set up range of uh, of these two. Yeah, and it's also trying to set up the the next round uh, to get to get around to get behind the red line. Because if Fen goes down, the only way Andrew can come back is to take out red line. He can't be messing around with these Tie Fighters, even though most of them were one hull. One forward there. It's most likely going to be a block on red line. Red line has to move. He's double stressed. But see, if red line bumps the Y, that means he gets another shot at, at Fen. Yep. And here's the bump. Yeah, that mid ba that medium base uh, Punisher makes it a lot easier to bump Fen. Uh, Fen runs actually. Fen runs hard. I don't know if that run is f far enough though. If that was his move. I I feel like I would have done a four Three. or something. Well, at the, at the angle he in which he was. The, the, I think that's the safest move because you knew red line was, was going out. We have the boost, uh, you have the focus. Yeah, so the I boot, think that'll get him out, or he might be taking one range three shot with a focus. He has to do the link focus, though. There so the is. boost for Guri was to get out of the way of a Fen to yeah. protect the non bump. Guri's 
Curry does get the, the yep. token. So she'll be taking a couple shots. Mm. Mm. Corey is out of position hard. Corey, I don't know if Corey has any shots. Oh, oh. Corey has one. Two crits? Crits. <laughs> I think this tie has Not full sure. health, actually. One crit, and the first tie fighter goes down. No, does it? No. Yeah. yeah, that was the third card, wasn't it? No. No. And not sure what the crit is because he didn't actually put it in the camera. Blue stabilizer. Is that safe? <laughs> Andrew with, with more juggling. Oh, yeah, that's how fighter did die. It did. So I think they were just following the procedure for uh, ships at, at the initiative. Mm. Don't get removed until all the ships at that initiative uh, have shot. It's going to be taking one. one. On to Guri. So Corey's going to catch. Cor Corey's going to catch that Ven hard. Corey has to come in hard. I think they have two, maybe three rounds left after this. Range three to Guri from that top TIE fighter. Two blinks. I'm sorry, that was on Cavill, not Gary. I hit the wrong one. That looks like range two on Cavill. Or no? All right, that's high shooting at Gary. Oh, no, Here it's a range, range three on three Fen. On Fen. He's got to focus. Oh. Two blanks. Andrew is getting iced out right now. Though uh, Corey did score half points on Cavill. He's up. Only one. Takes it. It counts. Three, three hole left on Cavill. Next TIE fighter going range three through a rock. Hit crit. Oh, He's taking both. Cavill's in a lot of trouble now. <laughs> and he is gone. Direct hit. Takes him down. So Corey has fallen behind 90 to 47. I don't know. Corey. Six minutes left. Corey's racing against the clock right now. Though he has, I think the problem, like his most offensive piece is Fen Rao, right? Yes. But he's also the most hurt and facing the wrong way. He's going to need a couple turns to get turned around. Um, you know, you got your safest thing is probably to do a bank two, then boost focus. Like you, you need to make a, take the long way around, but with only six minutes left, I don't know how. Does this clown have a talent roll? What? F Fen? Uh, they have that goofy, like. The, he has a talent roll. It's a two, two talent roll, but it's he's stressed right now, so he can't do it. Okay. 
Hmm. He, but he, ha you know, but he, the thing is, he has look, one, one haul, one haul. I don't know hole. if it, if I'm Andrew, I don't know if I pursue. <laughs> if I'm Andrew, I think I just slow roll and. W but then again, Andrew's at a, a at a top table right now, so I wouldn't be Andrew. <laughs> right. <laughs> I can. No. I, I can, they can. <laughs> Me too. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think I, I think I have Fence set up for a next turn Talon roll. I think Andrew has to play super. I'm sorry. I think Corey has to play super, super aggressive. And just throw caution to the wind, even though Fence at one health. Yeah, the problem... So, Red Lane can't really effectively run because the, those asteroid fields there. Yep. If he runs towards that... Oh, yeah. Two forward. And I could see this TIE fighter doing like a two bank here to block off Gory. Well, let's find out. Yep. Ta-da! Magic. <laughs> well, you know, and I know one thing, when I play games, like, if I notice a lot of the same moves from, uh, from a player, mm -hmm. so, uh, Corey has been locked in on hard turns. He he's done very few banks with Gory. Mm -hmm. um, so, I think the logical move, you go, well, mo from the way he's been playing, probably going to try to do a hard two here again or a hard one so let's go ahead and block it up yeah Corey has no 90% moves right now all of Corey's moves are coin flips three minutes and, and counting All right, see, this TIE Fighter, I definitely would have wanted a bank instead to protect against what I think is going to come, which is a Guri Sloop. I think Guri has a Sloop here in order to try to, to try to get behind the ships. Again, Corey has to throw caution to the wind because he needs to no, kill. No, he does to one bank. Oh, all right. Because Corey's got to kill 43 points, right? Yeah. Yep. I think Andrew is in the driver's seat with only 231 left. We're probably just going to get one more round after this. Mm -hmm. That's why I would have slooped with the Guri. Because he had to. The MOV doesn't matter to either of these players right no, now. Just they just need to make the cut. And that's why. Andrew de deciding his actions here. Probably just thinking about boosting. Get red line out of there. So he can't get half points. Nope. Locks the rock with the ability. <laughs> Part two. See, I would have preferred to see the bank there instead of the hard two to set up the uh, talent roll next turn. Because right now, boosting Fen. So Fen Fen has to go with the two bank now. He, he there's no, um, there's no guessing game that Corey gets to play with Andrew. Well, Corey, I don't think Corey has the luxury of guessing game, though. He ha He's behind. <laughs> he has, so he if, just go aggressive, man. If Corey had two uh, banked here, 
He could have done a Talon. He well, could have K-turned. I think he's aware of the clock, though. Look, we got 40 seconds left. Oh. He, that, that, the yeah. Talon roll I, is I, maybe, maybe, but he's, he's going, for, going for the most amount of points here, which would be half points on a red line, which would yeah. get him uh, 31. Or some type of crazy crits. Oh, which is it's not over. Bad. Two hits there. Oh. Andrews finally comes through. Andrews Green Dice finally come through. Yeah. We're going to be calling time here in a minute. Judges asked me to let them know when they were done. We can hear a mute here in a minute. Alrighty. This was awesome. This has been a, been a great day. Tons of great games. Lots of different ships. And right now, we, we know that Andrew's going to win. It's just how many points he's going to be able to take off the board. This will affect his, uh, his placement. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're on mute. No, we? it's, no remember, it's no. delayed. Oh, okay. Hit crit. What move did he dial in with Guri? It was a one bank. He didn't do the sloop, which I really what I thought it was going to happen. Takes a crit. Crit's not a fuel leak. Looks like a wounded pilot. And that's it. And for any of you who is wondering what a wounded pilot is, there it is. Wounded pilot. If you do an action, you roll a die, and you take a hit or crit. Uh, if you roll a hit or crit, you take a stress. Well, I want to say thank you to both these players for playing, and uh, thank you, Peter, for co-commentating this round. No, thanks for having me, Dion. And thank you for listening, uh, uh, everyone viewing. We're at 422 uh, viewers right now. That's that's pretty awesome. I'm yeah, pretty pumped about it, it, that. It's awesome. All right. Well, you know what? Do you know what time it is? Oh. Do you know what time it is? Do we start with it or do we end with the foil? Uh, well, we end with it. We okay. always, we always end, end, we'll, end with the we'll best end with stuff. the nice. Makes them watch all the way through the end. Well, look, <laughs> now we got the frantic uh, active users. Active users. Let's go ahead. Let's get to the oh that's the beautiful tim hilton Hi. behind me that's a really really nice uh um fang that that guy has I'm yeah painted that is very very talented <laughs> yeah i would love them what'd you do um i i do but i'm gonna get a bunch of notifications email it so it's probably be best gold squadron podcast at gmail.com Best Coast pairings here. It's going to give me some awesome stats about today's event. Um, so our giveaways, uh, we're going to start with some of our Gold Squadron podcast uh, Rebel Card Packs. It has Fen, Nora, Lorik, and Dutch Vander. You can actually see all the art for that on our website, goldsquadronpodcast.com. We're going to be giving away some cards from Liberty Squadron, some cards from the Australians. We're going to be giving away um, this awesome foil art and we also have a set an exclusive stream set of gold squadron podcast templates uh, that can only be win uh, one here on stream uh, some of the prizes are going to be uh, patron exclusive some of them will be also on twitch let's find out what's going down we'll start with our uh, our card packs how do you activate yourself in the chat? How do you participate in this? Uh, the legalese says I have to say that this is not in any way, shape, or form sponsored by Twitch. All of the prizes and giveaways are sponsored by Curl Paw Creatives, Gold Squadron Podcast, and any of the community members who provide the prizes. Um, anybody is eligible to win if you are talking in the Twitch chat. That's literally all you have to do uh, for the Twitch raffles. And then for our patrons, they, you know, they're patrons. They're they're on a list of people. I pick them out. That's how nice, that's how this works. We got a nice amount of gunboats going on. I love gunboats. Gumboat hype. Alrighty, let's make this happen. 
Uh, we're giving away three of those card sets right now. Round six card pack. Let me go ahead and mute our, uh, our table feed. We don't need that anymore. All righty, here we go. First set, three, two, one, bam. First person is Synchrotron McGurr. Right, that's what it is. That's exactly what it is. Synchrotron Murder. Now I pretty I think Synchrotron uh, is an uh, he's he's a, he's a great great regular user. I see him on all the time. Okay, well I'm glad he won. That's yeah. a, I like the emphasis on the name. That's awesome. Yeah. That's fun to say. Alright, next one. Three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know it's your initials, but it's more fun to say it that way. <laughs> Gold Squad uh, pod podcast. Gold Squadron podcast. All righty. Roll it. Next one. Uh, did I did I paste this person's name? And that did. Okay. Three, two, one. Bam. You read that one. Garnakesh. Garnakesh. He has wearing a really cool hat, and it's his uh, his avatar. Got a little steampunk going on. I'm a fan. Got it. Thank you. And last one of those card packs before we get into some of our other community prizes. Three, two, one, bam. Rava, ra ra raven ra raven ra raven ra raven Nah, there you go. That's probably how that's yeah. spelled. <laughs> ra raven Congratulations on winning uh, that giveaway. Now, how do you get your prizes? Anybody who gets get uh, wins a giveaway. What you do is you got to send me a Twitch message with your name and full address. Please give me all the information. I need like the zip code, I need the apartment numbers, all that stuff. Or you can send me the inf information through the Gold Squadron Podcast Facebook page. Please don't send it to my personal Facebook uh, because it gets buried. There's no way for me to track messaging in there. Um, and uh, there's a couple people who who been like, hey, where's my prize? And like, when when did what did you do? You like, oh, I sent it to my pers personal Facebook. I honestly, I get so many personal Facebook messages um, that it just gets buried. And I, don't, I don't want that to happen. I want to make sure I can keep track of it. And uh, Facebook does this thing where you get like a certain number of messages. It eventually, like stops telling you. You get it's weird it, uh, on the on the personal one. So don't do it there. Anyway, thank you for playing, man. Right, Shy Town. Alrighty, so next card set we're going to do oh, for uh, an entire is, set. All right. An this entire nice. set of the IG-88 pinups by Liberty Squadron. It's an absolutely hilarious set. One, two, th three, and that one's upside down on two, four. And you get the IG-88D crew as well. We're going to be giving away. We're going to do two sets to Twitch and two sets to Patreon. I'm in. Okay. So here, because I want to make sure I'm going to guarantee that my patrons yeah. get get some of this. And they're stuff. on pretty nice card stock too. Oh yeah. Philly Hi. Squadron uh, or Philly Liberty Squadron. Thank you so much for the donations. Absolutely. Three, two, one. Get it. Doctor Money Pants. Woo woo. Another newer uh, subscriber, yeah. November 3, 2018. Dr. Money Pants, this is IG88. He actually it was funny. If you look in the chat here, we actually have a chat log. He goes, ooh, I wants. <laughs> you gots. That's awesome. I wonder if he saw it yet. Yeah, he, <laughs> he just saw it. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Our, uh, our prize uh, giveaway shows us in chat what those people are saying, which is pretty fun. All righty. And uh, we got another one. Three, yes. Come two, on. one. Two Bam. Anakin's twin. Anakin's twin <laughs> for the second set. With a Chewbacca. There sure. you go. Beautiful. I don't know what you're trying to imply about Princess Leia there, but. Uh. <laughs> All righty. Let's go ahead. Let's uh, flip open to our Patreon. What we're going to do is we're going to give. Uh, we're going to do two for Patreon. We're going to do one for people who became patrons uh, during this event and one for patrons at large. So let's go ahead and open that up. 
How do we sign up for Patreon? You go to patreon.com slash gold squadron. You got, there's five different tiers. Uh, we're going to be adjusting the tiers here in a little bit uh, to make it a little bit more clear. You'll see that it's, it's written like uh, per episode and in the description text, they go, well, we only charge for two episodes, but we're switching it to a monthly. Mm hmm to make it more clear. So it'll be that pledge times two. That's easier. Yeah, it's easier to understand. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, Less let's talk transactional about transactional fees. It's, yeah. it's the way to go. <laughs> Correct. Alrighty. Uh, but, but we were going to patrons. We're going to our notifications to get our list of new Patreons. It's a party. Alrighty. Cover your eyes. Cover your eyes. Avert your eyes, good sir. Tell me when to stop. Now. Ernie Harold, the, the person who just subscribed. Like, I don't know. It doesn't have a time code on it. It just shows The last you. person. It just shows that it's you can subscribe at any point <laughs> and still be a big winner. See you tomorrow. <laughs> See you, man. All right. So let's go ahead. Put that in there. Uh, yeah. Dion, yeah. You're really getting treated like a piece of meat, <laughs> like both virtually and in real life. Virtually and in real life. This is this is aggressive. I I, I like it. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Ernie Harold. I want to get Chewbacca more stuff. You want to? Oh, we're gonna. Oh, we're gonna hook him up. Don't worry about that. Alrighty, and uh, patrons at large, as a whole, all the patrons. Loading, loading. It's, there's just so many patrons to load. I can't even load them all. <laughs> the site also acts a little bit weird when it's. Well, there's not, too many. When they're <laughs> not. All right. Okay, cool. So uh, tell me when to stop. First one. Now. Okay. We got. We got the letter L. All right. All righty. L's the winners. L's now. Now we need a vowel. Mm. Ah, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Maybe we got some person with a, with a weird name. Let's see. We'll we'll, we'll just go random again. Okay. Go ahead. Close your eyes. Tell me to go. Now. <laughs> Does anybody have double L's? Literally hit L again. Nope. Back it up. We'll go to the the letter right next to it until we hit somebody. Not a K. Not a J. Oh, oh. no. No, we, we sure did. Winner. Lee Jones. Wow. Lee Jones, because his his email, oh, I shouldn't say that. Anyway, <laughs> that's no. the reason. That's the reason no. why. Um, but yeah, congratulations, Lee Jones. Bam, he's been a patron for seven months. Accidentally just clicked on his name. There we go. Boom. He's getting the IG88 pinups. I think it's always funny when uh, when people. There's been a couple patrons who have won prizes, and I just ship them. They're like, why did I get this? <laughs> they, they, like, they weren't able to watch. Manna from heaven. Just, just raining down prizes just on people. Uh, boom. Okay. So we did that. We got the patrons. Boom, 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 boom. Um, we have this left. We got some of these. All right. Let's, let's switch back to Twitch. Switch, Twitch. One, two, let's see, how many of these do we have left? We're going to give out another set of those Aussie, the, uh... Oh, wait, so, Dion. What's up? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sign off because I think there's someone that everyone would love to hear from. Yeah. And I think that person is Andrew Knuckles. Andrew Knuckles! Andrew's going to take my seat. Okay. But, uh, hey, Dion, thanks for so much for letting me join. No problem. Uh, maybe I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. And then uh, thank you, everyone on the in the ch Twitch chat for for hanging out, watching. So pumped to see that the the reach has gone from 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 just the little old Chicago to that's right. Like, so the Netherlands, Amsterdam, Bahrain, Australia. Thank you so much, Dion. All right. So this next card set. Yeah. No, you're good. You want a break? Give him a break. He's good. No, he he wants a break. It's cool. It's fine. Let's. Yeah, it's fine. All righty, we'll we'll wrap these up here. He's tired. He's hungry. 
and he's sad. <laughs> All righty. So we have uh, this set from Australia. Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to give those away on t -t 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 Twitch. Anybody who's watching on Twitch, all you have to do is put your name in the box. Here we go. Three, two, one. Bam. Scott Othalamos. Scott Othalamos. He's been following since May 5th, 2017. Hardcore for sure. Bam. Let's do another one of those. This, is, this was the, the Monty Python. And let's do another one of those. Got to set it aside. Two... Three. Which one am I missing? There you go. So if you haven't seen these, if you're just joining us, uh, these are a uh, pretty hilarious set of cards uh, using images from Monty Python and the Holy Grail. You got Bomblet Generator. Trajectory Simulator. The Grand Inquisitor. And Death Troopers. And who's that going to? That is going to the Oddball Narwhal. Bam. Got that. Now, we have that super sweet Vader. This is going to, uh, going to a good home on Twitch. This is our top prize for the day for our Twitch. And then we have our top prize for our patrons, which is right there. All righty. So, this is that foil card from Australia. Thank you to Onyx Squadron. I only have one of these. This is it. So, here we go. Let's get hype in the chat. Let's get hype in the chat. Show me. Show me the hype in the chat. How many gumboats? How many gumboats can I get? It's not enough gumboats. It's not enough. You got to try harder. No, there we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Here we go. We're doing it. I'm going to do it. Three, two, one. Foil Vader goes to Professor Tracksuit. It's been following us since August 3rd, 2018. He's, he, was, he was hyping up gumboats. Let's see his reaction when he notices that he won. Professor Tracksuit, you did it. <laughs> Somebody says rigged. <laughs> nice, nice. And our final giveaway for today is going to a, uh, a patron. I'll see you. Hey, catch you guys later. Um, yes. What? Pogo the Chow. Pogo the Chow. Okay. The, what? Okay. Uh, maybe. Because I'm rooming. I want to see where these guys are doing, what their plans are. Oh, okay. Then we're in. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> All right. So let's, let's open up that Patreon list and let's give away those templates. Uh, made by Curl Paw Creatives. Took my my uh, my design and said, "Hey, let's let's tweak this a little bit. Let's make it a little prettier." And they look fantastic. It's that exclusive uh, patron level giveaway there. That beautiful yellow. Here we go. Who is getting those? This is for patrons at large. 
any any patron. Andrew, tell me when to stop. Stop. Okay. First letter is H. Uh. Tell me when to stop. Next letter's G, and it does like emails and addresses and stuff like this. So it, uh, uh nobody, no, not, not one. You gotta try again. Stop. All right. No, we gotta try again. All oh, the anticipation. Oh, oh. The winner. Oh no, we got more than one. One, two, three, four, five. Now, now we need to, we need to, we need to, we gotta nail it down again. We need another letter. We need another letter. No, nope, not that one. Try again. <laughs> I'll try again. <laughs> try again. <laughs> and we'll try one more. If it doesn't, we'll just do num random number generator for, for the next one. Yep, all right. So we got six possible options. You know what? You can't see the screen. So I want you to pick a number, one through six. Number three. Remember, so this is thank Ernest for this prize. One, two, three. The winner is Justin Hunt. Justin Hunt, congratulations for winning those uh, stream exclusive set of Gold Squadron Podcast templates. You can thank Gold Squadron Podcast, Kirk Paul Creators, and Ernest Pacias for keeping, for not only getting this number, but also keeping me alive and giving me my first food of the day because I didn't eat breakfast. <laughs> and he's like, you need food. Here's food. Eat now. <laughs> so congratulations, Justin. Thank you so much for being a patron. He has been a patron for 20 months. He's been a patron for 20 months. It's a good guy. It's a good guy. Thank you so much, man. It's amazing to see the, the, the support from the community. And I do my best to try to give back as much as I can. So that is the yellow templates. And paste his name in there. Fantastic, guys. So we're signing off. Uh, I'm going to... Have to tear some of this stuff down, but we'll be back tomorrow. Are we starting at the same time tomorrow? 10 again? Is that the plan? We'll be starting with the cut. Uh, oh, wait. I have stats for you guys. Oh, I don't want to leave you without your stats. West Coast yeah. Yep, the West Coast pairing stats. I have the – he sent me like a, like a full stat breakdown. It's a really cool thing. Let me pull it up for you guys. Give me a second. Come on, loading. There it is. So, some stats here. Uh, packs unplugged. You got a couple of breakdowns between pilots and ships. Let's go ahead and just pop this open here. So, most common pilot. What do you guys think in the chat? Take a guess. Most common pilot. Any guess? And this is a multiple copies count. The Jakku Gunrunner. 41 Jakku Gunrunners across all lists. Most popular unique pilot was Boba Fett. 31. Excuse me, not Boba Fett. Sorry. Redline at 31. Boba Fett was 28. Followed by Paylob at 24. Whisper at 24. Uh, these are, this is awesome. I'm going to make sure I get this out to you guys. We'll post it up. Um, yeah, pretty awesome there. Let's see any surprises in here. Nothing. We got Lando Calrissian, eight pilots there. A little different. Then, uh, by faction, the most common ship was the tugboat, which we talked about. The Hawk at 39. Uh, pretty cool, pretty cool. Very nice, very nice. All right, we'll, we're gonna we're gonna parse this more. We'll go ahead and get this posted, but uh, pretty cool to see. We're gonna sign off here. My name's Dio Morales, and for everybody here at PAX South, no, sorry, PAX Unplugged. We're in PAX like this is like PAX Northeast. <laughs> Thank you everybody for joining us. My name's Dio Morales. Gold Squadron, out. Thank you so much for joining us. Make sure you guys hit up Curl Park Creatives, GoldSquadronPodcast.com, and Cascade Games, and everybody who makes this possible. You're amazing. Have a good day.